Hello viewers, welcome back. Um, it's been a while, but I'm finally back with another video. So today I'm going to be cover a little bit about circles. So let's jump right into it. So over here I have a circle. I'm going to draw a chord in it. So a chord is basically a line that connects two points on the circumference. And the circumference, if you still don't know, is this part where I'm highlighting purple, yeah? Alright, so now I have two different segments. So this one is a segment, and this one is another segment. But the one with the larger area, we call that the major segment. And the one with the smaller area, we call that the minor segment. Alright? Now, there's also another thing we need to know, is that... Um, hold on, let me draw another one. Alright, here's another circle. So, um, what if I cut a pizza slice in the circle? Yeah, something like that. Alright, this is the center. The dot here is the center. So, basically, now I have a pizza slice in there. So, for this, um, both these parts in here, we call them sectors. This part here is another sector too. But then again, if you guessed it, the one with the large area is called the major sector. And the one with the smaller area which is the pizza slice, it's called a minor sector. Sorry, singular. There you go. So why are they called segments and sector? Well, uh, just think of a sector as an area, as like a part. So therefore, you get pizza slices for a sector. Then as for a segment, it's just like a fraction add. So you get uh, like pieces, you get chunks. So therefore, segments. Try not to get confused between them, yeah? Alright, so basically, um, now I'm going to talk a little bit about arc length. So normally, alright, this is a circle. Then I'm going to hold on, let me highlight this. Okay, yeah, a little crude, but it works. We know that the circumference is equal to pi times diameter or 2 times pi times the radius all right they're the same thing okay so um this is for the circumference now uh what i want to do now is actually if i split the circle into two even parts so i make two semicircles and i want to find the length of this part up here now this part up here which i just shown in red is what we call an arc length all right so it's basically just like a circumference but it's not the full circle it's just part of it so what if i want to find the arc length all oh, right but i um don't know how to find it well basically uh let's just take a look at the circle here now as a circle as a whole it will have from the center there will have an angle of 360 degrees now when i split that circle into two semicircles i'm splitting it into, into half so the top part will have 180 degrees and the bottom will have 180 degrees now that arc length is only just the semicircle at the top so therefore i'm only taking 180 of the full circle so that is 360 degrees and if i simplify this fraction 180 over 360 i'll get half actually so therefore my arc length will actually equal to half of the circumference starting to make sense now because the circumference is the whole thing all right so therefore my uh, formula will actually just be half times 2 pi r which is just pi r all right uh, let's try another one uh, let's do let's do a quarter now let's do a quarter center. all right so let's just say I have a quarter, I have a very, uh, I have pizza cut here. So uh, this angle here, let's call uh, 90 degrees. All right. Now uh, I want to find the arc length here. Sorry. Okay. So how do I do that? Same logic as before. We know that the full circle has 360 degrees and we're only finding the arc length of this one, the 90 degree one. So 90 degrees over 360 degrees. And if we simplify that, we get one over four one quarter and we know that the circumference is actually just 2 pi r so 1 over 4 
times 2 pi r, which will just give us half times pi r. Alright, and let's do one last one for arc length. Okay, and uh, let's just draw a smaller pizza cut here. Okay, I'm going to say this one has an angle of 20 degrees, okay? So now I want to find the arc length here. How do I do that? Okay, same thing as before. Identify what is the angle. So call out the fractions. 20 degrees over 360 degrees. We get 1 over 18. So we're only finding 1 over 18 of the circumference, which is the arc length that we're finding now. So 1 over 18 times 2 pi r, and we'll get 1 over 9 pi r. So that's for arc length. Let's do one more thing I want to cover, which is our uh, area. So same thing as before with the arc length. Just going to do it with a semicircle now. I have a circle here. So from our uh, knowledge beforehand, the area of a circle is actually just pi r squared. Alright? There's no arguing about that. And now if I uh, split the circle into two semicircles again, so split it, it again. Same logic as just now, how do I find the area of this semicircle up here? Now if we apply that logic that we just learned, we know that the whole thing is 360 degrees. If we split it into half, we have 180 up here. So therefore, our ratio is actually just 180 to 360, which is again half. So therefore, our area for this top semicircle will just be half of the complete area of the square. This is half times pi r square, which will just give us half pi r square. There you have it. So let's just do one last example before I end off today's video. Alright, this circle. And uh, let's say I do... Hmm, okay, let's do 60 degrees. Okay, it's not proportionate. Okay, let's do something like that. Okay, 60 degrees. Okay, I want to find this area over here. Okay, how do I do that? Very easy, we do the ratio again, so we know the whole thing is 360 degrees, so therefore, what we'll have is 60 degrees over 360 degrees, Oops, sorry, 60 degrees, so that's 1 over 6, alright, that's our fraction. So therefore, we know that the full circle, our area is actually pi r squared, so if we're just finding this part over here, that will just give us 1 6 of the whole area, which is 1 6 pi r squared. 